Thank you for coming by, Tori McGoo44. This is about, I'm continuing with my What is a Cult? This is part three, and it has to do with doctrine over person. And this is a perfect example. In the Church of Scientology, everything, everything, everything costs money. Okay? You might be able to get in on a free seminar. They're, even their stress tests, they don't cost money, but they're always going to try to sell you a book afterwards. Everything boils down to this. They care about you. They know, now you've told them whatever it is. People get in and they tell them, I need help with finances. I need help with my relationship. I need help with communications. You know, those are like the big three that they have. But there's a bunch of other ones. Whatever it is, my children, you know, my husband, my wife, my blah, 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 whatever it is, it's going to boil down to this. This is exactly what it is. Remember what I'm saying. Don't give them any money. Don't give them any money until you've learned this side of things, their side, which is how great it is to pay this money, and our side of it, which is people who did pay this amount of money and are now out talking about it. My name is Tori Christman. I was in the Church of Scientology for 30 years. I escaped out. When I escaped out, I didn't believe they did that kind of thing. If someone told me they did, which they did, I said, no way. They don't do that kind of thing. Stacy Brooks told me, Tori, Jesse Prince and I used to run these kind of programs. Bring a phone. This was in 2000. Everybody didn't have a cell phone in 2000. I brought my little cell phone, not really thinking they would ever do something like that. And you all know the rest of it. If you don't, type in in my YouTube site, Escape, in the search engine and read. I did a 10-part series on how I woke up and escaped out. And it is amazing. It blew my mind, literally. And it still does to this day. But it definitely is doctrine over person, right? You get in and you've got your own personal instincts, right? Whatever it is, immediately, and I've showed you guys this before, I'll keep showing it, keeping Scientology working, right? It's a 10-point thing that you have to do with every single course. Before you do your course, you have to word clear this, make sure you know everything. If you don't, you have to demonstrate it out, blah, blah, blah. Now, the key thing, a lot of it is knowing the tech, knowing it's correct. That's bad enough. But Hubbard says in Keeping Scientology Working, it isn't just these 10 steps. It's pages. It's about six page thing. Maybe it's four pages, whatever. He says, many, many groups have gone down because, not because of one to six, which is knowing the tech, knowing it's correct, blah, blah, blah. It's because they didn't hammer out of existence incorrect technology. They didn't knocking out of incorrect applications. They didn't closing the door on any possibility of incorrect technology. And they didn't close, close the door on incorrect application, right? Those are the bottom ones, right? Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are the big ones. But it does make you go, oh, okay. So that kind of moves you into doctrine. You see what I mean? Like you might be thinking something. But wait a minute, you've got to close the door on that. Mm -mm, that's not going down. You know, like Dianetics, it's the science of the mind. Well, where's, do you have any scientific proof on it? You know what, we're going to be routing you to ethics because uh, we think you need to talk to the ethics officer. Now, what's the ethics officer going to do? Well, what's your problem, Tori? I mean, you're here, you want to see, you know, let's look at what L. Ron Hubbard says about people who are questioning the tech. Oh, really? You're connected to someone who's suppressive if you're questioning the technology? You know, he, he'll say you're PTS, you're a potential trouble source, right? Really? I'm a potential trouble source now? Well, how, how's that? Well, you have epilepsy, right? Yeah. Well, people who are, have, are ill are connected to suppressive people. Now, if you haven't seen this, just in case you're new, and I know the people that have seen this go, you show it all the time, and I go, yeah, I do. Because I want anybody who might be new, this could be your first time here, this is what they do. They declare someone a suppressive person. That's pretty scary when you see it. Look how big it is. Look how long it is. It's all printed out on xenuxenu.net, right? But this is, this suppressive declare is doctrine over person. 
Because every single SP Declare I ever saw, every one of them, you think, huh? Because you know, many of them were your friends. Ivan, Ivan Obolinsky, who ran AOLA, he was like the kingfish of the universe. Could do no wrong. Everybody loved Ivan. Overnight, declared suppressive. Here's his SP declare. He went out to D, meaning he, was, he had a, a girlfriend. Whatever. He left. He blew. He did this. He did that. They've always got something that you did that's awful. What did I do that's awful? I've done a lot of shit. But they, I've told all my friends all my stuff. So everybody knows it. So what do they say about me? She had an affair. Really? I had an affair? Bring them over. I'd love to meet the person that I had an affair with. I didn't have an affair. They're full of it. And Harold Bizazian, shame on you for doing doctrine over person. You know I didn't have an affair. You know I didn't want to get off my medication for epilepsy. Oh yeah, I wanted to have grand mal seizures over and over and over. You know I was tortured to death by this church. And the fact that you have given them another $100,000 over the $200,000 your mother gave to flag for us to pay for OT4 through 8, and now you've given them another $100,000 and fallen into their ideal org, which is what this is all about, just amazing. And then they wouldn't help you, and now you're still volunteering? That's doctrine over person. I know my ex-husband would never do that. But they've got them. They get you. And you know what? This ideal org thing is amazing. Back when I got in, in 69, they had the Hazi membership. It was the Hubbard Association of Scientologists. No big deal. You know, everybody paid it. It's $200 here, a lifetime member. Then Hubbard died. David Miscavige took over. And he started the IAS, the International Association of Scientologists. Well, we who were auditors and housing members said, we don't have to pay for that. We're housing members. We went up to the guy who was the IAS membership guy and said, we're housing members. Where is it in writing about IAS? He said, you know, you auditors are the people giving up me problem. And that's right, because we're trained in the tech. And the tech says if it isn't in writing, it isn't true. That was Hubbard. But, of course, think about that. If it isn't in writing, it isn't true. Here you go, doctrine over principle, over over person, right? It's always the tech. It's not you. It's the tech, right? And you got to know the tech. And you got to know it's correct. Blah blah blah. Okay, so here's the ideal orgs now. One of my friends is going to help with this and show you what their picture because they've sent out a flyer about these, and this is amazing that they've now started the California Ideal Org Completion Crusade. The last we say that I know of, they had it up in Portland, where 10,000 of us flew up to Portland. A lady had actually sued them. She actually won. They said she was trying to hurt the Church of Scientology, and she lost. She didn't lose. She won. But we were there forever. It was a long crusade. Anybody that was there knows about it. Well, this is their new crusade. Now, first of all, with IAS, they have level after level after level. So you come in at, I think, a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks, but then quickly it's like you got to move up to the next level and pay more and more. And it goes up into a quarter of a million dollars, a million dollars. I mean, it's just unbelievable the amount of money people give to this IAS stuff. Well, now they've started a whole nother thing with these ideal orgs where you have to donate to that. And I didn't really get it until I talked to my friend Panda in Australia. And he said, oh, no, no, this is just, this is a whole other donation thing that you have to get into. This girl had told me, you can't do the bridge without donating to the Ideal Orgs. But I didn't get it. It's a whole other, uh, one of these BS things where you have to just keep donating money to, and that's why I have my thing. This is, and don't take it as I'm joking, this is the Church of Scientology. That's it. It is all about money. It boils down to it. If you think I, if you don't get it, walk, Google, I think it's on my YouTube site, Tori talks to CFI. CFI is the Center for Improvement. They're, they're skeptics. And I went and did a whole long talk on how did I get in, what was it like in, how did I wake up, how did I escape out. It's a really good series. It's worth watching. Anyway, they've got, okay, let's start with San Diego, the southern part, because this is now there with the state of California, ideal orgs. Scientology would never have been connected or using their name with the state. There's something fishy on that, that they're already 
putting the state of California ideal or huh really okay so San Diego there is a picture of what they show it as there is a picture of what it is Stevens Creek ideal or there is a picture of what they show it is there's what it really is Mountain View ideal or but they show it as what it really looks like now they can say well we're working on it I went to the ideal org in the valley my girlfriend said hey there's a new ideal org right around the corner from us let's go so we drive on over there we're thinking you know it's gonna be the new ideal org it's a dump you know it's closed up it wasn't there nobody was there working on it she was amazed she's an XC org member and she was like wow they don't even have the RPF here there was nothing absolutely nothing the only thing we saw was a van saying the volunteer ministers that you know their volunteer minister yellow van was there that was it that was the only thing nobody working on it the doors weren't open nothing and there's the the picture of the, the what the state of California Valley or San Fernando Valley ideal org is and what it really looks like okay then you've got Santa Ana the ideal org what it what they show it as and what it is and Orange County, what they show it as and what it is. I've been to the Orange County org. So is Arnie. So is a few other people that are, you know, anonymous. You know, it's like, come on. You know, this is just another scam. This is doctrine over person. As a person, you're probably going, no. You know, I mean, how, how brilliant do you have to be to drive by an org and see that it's totally empty or shut down? Okay, but we need your money. Well, what do they need your money for? Why do they have to keep fixing up these orgs? Go drive by the complex. Are they doing anything there? No. They used to be delivering the bridge. They're not even really delivering the bridge anymore. They're just getting donations. And I want you to understand this and understand it really seriously. This is a business. Scientology is definitely, definitely a business. They're under the, it's, it's like the Wizard of Oz. They've got that curtain up where they're under the, that curtain of religion. But they are a cult and they are a business, right? And don't, don't question it. I mean, you can question it all you want, but make sure you find out both sides. And ask yourself this, why can't they say find out both sides? They can't say find out both sides because if people found out both sides, that doctrine over person would not work. Because if you found out L. Ron Hubbard lied through his teeth on certain things, now let's sort of break down what a great guy he was. If you found out David Miscavige had physically beaten people or had bruisers that went along with him because he's sort of a wimp who can't really be, beat people up even if he wanted to. So he sort of, to quote um, Jeff Hawkins, he basically bitch slaps you and then has these bruisers come and beat you up, right? But again, it's doctrine over person. It, people go along with it because they're going along with the technology of Scientology and they're basically suppressing themselves that's what happens and you don't do it intentionally it's a slow train of mind control I've told you that but the more you know if you're in a cult or you're in an abusive relationship please look at it look at both sides trust your heart trust what you feel because what you feel is correct I mean, just like this doctrine over person, you know, it's more important for you to donate to the ideal orgs, even though they're all empty, nobody's there, nothing's happening. They basically trashed all that's going on. It's amazing to me that people are still staying. Wake up, get out. I've said it for 11 years. Get out, bail while you can. I started it sort of just like bail while you can. Now I'm dead serious on it. People have died in the 11 years that I've said that way too young, flashback, dead, okay? His daughter dying of cancer. Megan Shields' daughter hung herself. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And these are people since I left. There's tons of people who died before I left. So it, it, this is not a joke. And to any of you out there who are helping expose the abuses of Scientology, I thank you on it. If you are, please pass on my link, Tori Magoo 44 to other people, because people are still getting suckered into it. They are still giving them their money, and you can't get it back. 
They will not. The policy says you will, but remember, doctrine over person. And the doctrine, even though for them it says you can get your money back, people are not getting their money back. And it really is a drag. When you're losing your house because you gave the Church of Scientology so much money, you're going to be really sorry you did. So listen to me. I don't have any vested interest in this. I know they're saying I'm getting paid. Really? Come on over to my house. Come on and talk to me. Come. I dare you to come over here and talk to me about this. I'm getting paid. I wish I was getting paid. I need to get paid. If you want to send me a donation, send it to Mark Bunker for Magoo. I'd love to get some donations. But you know what? I'm not. That's a total bullshit thing. And here's a little bit of their doctrine over person. Every time, every person who goes clear, they have all these little significant things. Here's a clear bracelet. That's what it looks like. They all wear them. Every single person you'll see them. They've got on their little clear bracelet. Here's Mr. Harold Bizazian's OT8 bracelet. Gold. Ooh, very important. Hmm. But these kind of things reinforce, ooh, I want to get that. I, you know, I know it sounds really dorky to people that are not in it. It's like, who would buy this stuff? But it's all little stuff that keeps reinforcing. You want to stay in this thing. You want to get there. No, it isn't. It doesn't work. That's why they're that's why they're reinforcing more of the lower bridge because they know the upper bridge doesn't work and people can see it. it. It just isn't happening like it used to. I mean, before the mystique was there because Hubbard had just you know researched these and found them, so we were all paying for them. But now it's a little different. So please listen to your heart. If you know people that are in, help them watch both sides. Their creed of a Scientologist says man has the inalienable right to free speech and free thought. So you can ask anybody, what does that mean to you? Word clear it with them. What does freedom mean? What does thought mean? What does inalienable right? What does that mean? And once they get it, they should be able to look, shouldn't they? And if they can't, is it doctrine over person? Hello? Knock, knock. <laughs> so thank you to all of you who are helping in exposing this. It is a very insidious organization, creepy, spooky. If you're thinking of joining, please look at both sides. Listen. Don't listen to their, don't listen to the internet. Just talk to us because they're just going to route you to the registrar and make sure that the registrar gets some more money out of you. Think I'm kidding? I'm not. I'm dead serious. They've got tons of my money, tons of other people's money, and they won't give it back. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace out. Bye-bye.